my name's Kat. I write under the pen name Katie Reed, and this is my author tube newbie tag video. I'm going to use the questions off of the iWriterly website to kind of help get me through this since I'm new to the whole author tube thing. Find out about author tube. Um, my first author tube video was actually uh, one of the writing advice videos by Alexa Dunn. Um, from there I kind of found I Writerly and a few other author tubers like Kate Cavanaugh. I just thought it was really cool that all these writers, um, introverts, were on this very extroverted social media. What genres do I write in? I write... I mostly write adult fantasy. Um, I've been published in young adult. I've got stories in two anthologies, Ever After Again, which features myself, Lindsay S. France, who is the author of The Upworld, and Michelle Wilson, who is the author of the Gatebreaker series, and I was published in a second anthology, The Last Words Anthology, Volume 2, When You Play With Magic. Um, Ever After Again was young adult, and The Last Words Anthology was sort of a hodgepodge of all the different kinds of genres, but mine was adult fantasy. Is your preferred writing tense point of view and category of story? Well, I prefer to write adult fantasy. Um, my preferred point of view is third person, like a really close third person. Um, most of the time I write stuff that has some kind of a weird twist to it, so I don't like to do third person omniscient necessarily because it gives a lot away, but I do like to be really up and close with my characters, so I, I like a close third person. Are you a plotter, pantser, or planter? That's a hard question because I'm still kind of discovering my process, but I think for the most part I'm a, I'm a plant plotter. I'm a plotter. Um, I like to do a lot of outlining. I like to have an idea of what my world is before I start. I have tried pantsing novels before, and they've turned out to just be so bad and need a complete rewrite. So, um, yeah, for the most part, I'm a plotter. Self-published, published, or yet to be published. So, I'm published through an indie publishing company, which is run by a self-published author, Michelle Wilson. Um, her publishing company is Tulip Poplar Publications. Um, she's been really great to work with. I would like to be traditionally published. I think, like a lot of authors, I will end up going um, a hybrid route in the long run. Um, I am pursuing traditional publishing and considering writing a few self-published things under a different pen name. The next question was, what can we expect, what kind of videos can we expect from your channel? Um, I think probably, for the most part, it's going to be an author's journey. I am proud to say I am published, but I don't feel like I'm an established author, so I probably won't be giving a lot of writing advice as much as just what I'm doing, what's worked for me so far, um, where I am. It might be a little bit booktube-ish because I'll do TBR videos. I'm also a big baker, so I know one of the things I want to do is take a lot of the breads and things that I see in books that look like they would be fun to make in real life and make videos of those and, and recipes from books. So we'll see how that goes. When did you start writing? Well, I tried to write my first novel when I was 13, and I think we can all guess that probably didn't go super well. Um, I started writing when I learned how to write. It sounds like one of those really cliche answers, but I really have been telling stories for such a long time. Um, my mom would tell you that I used to reinvent all these fairy tales that I used to listen to before bed. I had my own version of the Three Little Pigs when I was five that I liked to tell whenever I was riding in the car back and forth from my parents' house. I've been telling stories for a long time. I started pursuing 
being an author as a career in 2015, I think, was when Lindsay France and I became friends, and she was at the beginning of her tradition, being traditionally published, her journey of being traditionally published, and it just made it more real for me. So that's when I said to myself, wow, this is something I can actually do, like, in real life. What was the first story you ever wrote? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, but I would say, I could, I could say that the, the novel that I tried to write when I was 13 was about this really angsty girl. I think she was a vampire. Um... She had, like, this accomplice that she thought was the murderer of her father, and he was an elf, and his eyes changed color with his mood, and it was all really bizarre and bad. <laughs> That's the one that I tried to write when I was 13. The first story I ever wrote, I have no idea. It's been lost to time. Um, that's the first book I ever tried to write, and my first story that was ever published was Paradox of the Magi, which is the book that I have published in the Last Words Anthology, Volume 2, When You Play With Magic. Authors have inspired your writing the most. Um, Harry Potter was coming out when I was a kid, so it would be foolish to say that that did not inspire me in any way. It definitely did, so I suppose J.K. Rowling. Um, I'm a big fan of Anthony Pierce. I think that his writing style, even though it's sort of older, is a lot of fun. I guess if I had to pick one author who's inspired my writing the most, at this point it would probably would be Brandon Sanderson because I've been watching his lectures that he has posted online. Um, I've been taking a lot of advice from that that I think is really useful and applying it to my own writing. Um, as far as the first author that ever inspired me to maybe try to write a story of my own, that was probably Darren Shan, who wrote the Circuit de Freak series, which I also read when I was younger, I think, in middle school. Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you can find the time? Well... I'm a mom of four, so my writing does kind of, to some extent, have to happen just whenever it can. I do get a pretty standard workspace of, like, one to two <laughs> in the middle of the day when my youngest is napping, right before my oldest three get home from school. Um, and then on Wednesdays, my husband is really awesome and is able to take the day off of work and come home and spend time with the kids so that I get like this five hour chunk of time that I can really just dig into something and write. Um, Wednesdays are my favorite day. <laughs> uh, you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those. And where do you write in general? In general, I write right here um, because I'm upstairs where I can watch my kiddo and, um, make sure that he doesn't, like, feel alone whenever he wakes up from his nap. I have a writing desk downstairs that I aspire to use someday, and, um, then I do a lot of writing on my couch. Most of my writing, like, my outlining is done by hand. Once I'm ready to start trying to draft it and really dig into a story, I type it out on the computer. <sighs> what are you most looking forward to now that you are a part of AuthorTube. That sounds like a really big commitment. <laughs> what am I most looking forward to? I think I'm just looking forward to actually having a bigger community of people that I can talk to about writing and that I can talk to about books. That's one of the big things that has sort of inspired this me coming to AuthorTube is the fact that I see all these people talking about books all the time and all the comments rambling about books and I'm such a big book nerd and I cannot wait to have people talk about books with me. I want to take the last part of this video to say um, a big thank you to Alexa Dunn who is the first author tuber that I came across and I was like oh hey there's writers on YouTube that's pretty cool and then also a shout out to Kev Landia because he actually put out a video in October that I watched and 
Um, it was pretty much just a, if you've been thinking about joining AuthorTube and been hesitant to do it, just do it. Just jump right in. And I want to say thank you for that because it really did, uh, congratulations to you. It's your goal of getting someone to jump into AuthorTube who had been, I'd been lurking for a long time and kind of like, oh, that looks really cool, but I don't know if I should. Should I join AuthorTube? I don't know. Camlandia, thank you. Thank you for encouraging that. Um, and then I'll also say you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at KD Read Author, and I can't wait to talk about books and writing with you guys. Bye!